And our next presentation is unveiling disruptive, unveiling disruptive search dynamics metadata insights in the OSDU data platform. Good morning. My name is Lee Hin Wong from Petronas Upstream Data. And together with me, uh, my partner from SLB. Uh, so today we are sharing the context of this paper is about, you know, with the strong foundation of the OSDU platform, the opportunity of the innovation to improve the search capability yeah, for a better discovery and user experience to the SME user. So the agenda runs uh, with a description on the challenges, um, the detail of the innovation that what we have done uh, in these projects, the use cases, and what is the value and the benefits from this uh, execution and implementation, and uh, lastly, the summary. So this is a, a collaboration between Petronas and SLB. Yeah, that the innovation is as, uh, the innovation is established on top of the OSDU data platform. Yeah. So they are, they are, th these are the members for this uh, project execution from both Petronas and SLB. So OSDU data platform form part of the important components in the overall Petronas upstream data modernization programs. Yeah, and it serves as the centralized data depository yeah, for the data to be ingested, curated, discovered, yeah, and, and also the, to be governed at the centralized uh, as a trusted sources. Yeah? And the implementation of the business rule with the data quality score yeah? and the technical assurance within the platforms yeah? that form the whole execution of the upstream Petronas data platforms. And ever since it, the OSDU data platform has been operationalized in last year, we have seen a steady uh, increase in terms of the utilization by the SME and with that it also come with the opportunity how do we further enhance the discoverable of the data by enhancing the search capability uh, for the data that we are ingested and curated within the OSTO data platforms. Yeah, So, uh, so that is the context of this uh, paper that we will share with the audience. Yeah? And with that, I pass the description of the details about this execution to Sugiato from the SLB. Um, thank you, Lee. So now we are going to the detail on the, uh, the challenges. Right? As uh, Lee mentioned, that uh, after it's operationalized, so now uh, some of the user experience on the challenges. Right. So as we know, uh, I think uh, earlier uh, presentation as well mentioned that the search uh, to provide the JSON is not user friendly. Right? So the data model, uh, most of the data is kind of array as we're talking about the geo context uh, to uh, store the data for the well bore, for the block, for the uh, field and so on. And also the relationship between the master and the work product component. Right? So whether we need to reduplicate all this uh, geocontact information from the master well board into the uh, work product component uh, log, work product component document, and so on. And the geolocation, right? So the geolocation is stored in the master uh, as part of the well board. So uh, how, uh, as a user, try to uh, get the information uh, certain well board based on the location that have uh, log data, uh, um, uh, document, and so on, right? And also searching on the work product component based on the keyword is also kind of a challenge, right? So we try to search a uh, log that have a certain for belong to the certain uh, well bore or certain field or certain block, right? And uh, to do that one currently before this uh, uh, solution uh, augmented index, 
So we need to do a multiple call. So first, we try to get uh, from the master well bore, we got all the ID belong to the field or block, and then we call another call of the set SPI to get the name of the field, name of the block, and so on. So these kind of the challenges uh, in terms of the uh, user experience. Right. So this is uh, one of the challenges that basically uh, how uh, from the user they try to get uh, all the well bore right, that belong to the Malaysian, right, belong to certain region and belong to certain block right, and uh, well this well bore have a log data that is uh, uh, interpreted and case hold and production logging. Right. So this will go into the detail uh, how is this uh, challenges and the, the solution after the augmented index. And also uh, from the user, they want to see, right? So the, the well bore in the map or in the GIS that have a document for certain type, right? So maybe well report or a, a geological report and so on. And also, let's say uh, we are talking about the RFS, right? So they want to also to get the information about the uh, core data, right? So uh, whether uh, side wall core analysis uh, from certain field, right? Where the porosity is around uh, higher than uh, 25. So go into the detail of the challenges, right? So as we know uh, uh, in the previous session as well, they show this uh, JSON, right? So when we store the, the well pool information, all this uh, store as a JSON, right? So everything will be ID. So when uh, well board is related to the field or the block or region, everything is to, into kind of uh, uh, ID, right? It's not straightforward uh, to get uh, information whether this well board belong to uh, which country, right? Uh, whether it's Malaysia or Indonesia and so on. The second challenge is now we are talking about the work product component, right? So the relationship from the work product component on the uh, log data into the master well bore is based on the well bore ID. Again, it's just only the ID. So when the user try to search uh, based on the well bore name, based on the certain keyword, it won't be possible, right? So what is the name of the well bore? The, the next challenge is basically uh, we store all this uh, geo context, right? The field, the block, the region is in the master well bore. So now when we try to ingest a new uh, data uh, belong to work product component, either document, either trajectory, or either log, so whether we need to reduplicate all of this information that is already there in the master well bore. Right? And also now, okay, as the user, I want to see uh, in the GIS or map, the well bore that have the document or the well bore that have log data, the well bore that have uh, trajectory and so on. So it's kind of not possible right now because uh, all of this information is in the master well bore, right? And the, to get the relationship, you need to make a, a certain um, uh, a many call from the work product component uh, getting to the master well bore just to retrieve all of this information. Right. Uh, mentioned as well that uh, it's kind of difficult to, uh, to search uh, using the keyword uh, based on the well bore name, uh, based on the country name, or based on the region name. So uh, with the augmented index, uh, I will hand over to uh, Zibin uh, as part of the engineering from SLB uh, to implement this one. So this kind of already a part of the uh, M19, right? and then we enhance more in the M22, which uh, will cover in detail by uh, Zibin. So uh, I think uh, the goal for this solution is uh, we try to reach uh, 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 the, the, the search capability. Right? So the basic idea is uh, we try to denormalize the, the view, the data in the index, in the search index, not on the, on the general data model in storage. So with this uh, metadata-driven solution, we can uh, create a view from the shell object, parent object, or the children object. Right? On the left hand side is uh, the schema about, our, about the metadata. So this one gives you an example is uh, we can uh, support multiple level extension. Right? You can see the, the master variable can extend the property for more than 10 different kind of objects. And the children like for example, the document and the well law can further extend from the extended well bore. And you can see, as I say, we create some kind of a view about the data in the index. Uh, different from the traditional database, uh, this solution we can do um, circular reference. If you look at the well law, 
and the, uh, the well bore, right? We can, for the well bore, we can get all the well log uh, information and put to the well bore. And from the well, well log, we can also get the well bore information put, put to the well log. So this is, uh, we can support some kind of uh, circular reference to, in, in, to enrich the, the search. How we do that? So we implement a mechanism to, uh, to chase all the chase. For example, if say, uh, as I we in a pitch line, right, we define the wellbore can extend from the well law, and the well law also can extend from the well bore. Right? If you say the well bore object is updated, right, it automatically trigger the chase the lead index the well law, right, to guarantee the data integrity. Right? For example, if the well bore is changed, I want to see uh, you want to say the well law, the, the well bore in the well law should be updated also. So this is uh, uh, the we have the, the chasing solution. As I say, in order to prevent, we have, as we can support the circular reference, we, have, we also have a mechanism to uh, prevent the infinite uh, chasing. So for example, if the well bore updated, we can automatically trigger the update the well log. But the update the well log will trigger update the well bore. So this is a solution as a part of the, this is the kind of solution as part of the, the feature. So I'll back to the Suato. Okay, so just uh, to give the uh, better uh, analogy and uh, how uh, we are implementing this one, right? So the analogy is basically uh, we try to use the, the, the concept of the uh, oracle view, right? Uh, or uh, logical view, right? As mentioned earlier, we are not modifying the storage or the, the underlying data, right? It's just only kind of logical to make the user experience is, uh, easier. So first, uh, this augmented index Right, is uh, helping in uh, giving a lot of benefit. So the first one, we can flatten the uh, well bore master data. Right, by flatten is basically let's say all the geo contact information that is a uh, array. Right, so basically you need to go to the geo type ID, go to the geopolitical entity, and so on to be able just only to get the block name, the field name, or the country name. Right, so with this augmented index, we can flatten. We just introduce. You do not need to go for multiple call just only to get the country name or the field name or the block name. With this one, we just create kind of logical view to introduce uh, country name is Malaysia, block name is block A, and so on. The second one now, you, you have a two table. This is simple also try to analogy in the Oracle, you try to join a two table and then creating the view, right? So in this case, uh, I have the master well bore, I have the work product component, the well log, Right? So now, in this logical view, I can introduce all the information that the country name, the region, the field from the master well board, including the location from the master well board into this logical view. Right? Then, how about if you have a more than a two kind of a kind? Right? So in this case, I have the rock sample analysis. Right? And also, I uh, have the well board, master well board, and master uh, rock sample. So again, with the augmented now, I can uh, get this information of the region, block, uh, country, location from the master well board, and also the rock sample type from the master rock sample, and introduce everything into the uh, logical view to combine these three kind. Right? So for the user experience, easy now to find a certain data for the rock sample analysis. Right? For example, this is the, the use case one. So a uh, user want to uh, get the list of the well bore, right? That uh, is uh, in Malaysia, that belong to certain region, let's say XX, and uh, also uh, in the region XX, there is a block B1 and B2, that have a, a log that is interpreted, is case hole and production logging, right? So now with the augmented index, you can see right now, it's easier. So to run the search API, now I just say that, okay, uh, query the country name. So now I do need to go to the geo context, geo type ID is a country and then geopolitical entity and so on, right? So with this one, because we already flattened the information and we already joined the, the table between the well log and the uh, master well board, right? So now from the user experience is easier. So now I just run the query, okay, give me the list of the well board, belong to country name is Malaysia and region name is the XX, right? And the block name is the B1 and B2 and the, uh, the log is uh, interpreted and casual and production logging, right? 
the use case, uh, this is you, you will get the, the result, right? So you can see the, the result basically is showing that, okay, uh, this is the list of the uh, well bore, including the, uh, the name of the file of the log, right? And the block name and so on. The use case number two is about the rock sample analysis, right? So the user also want to understand, okay, uh, give me uh, the list of the site worker analysis belong to certain field with the porosity is uh, uh, greater than 25%, right? So now, again, I just go to the run the query directly to the rock sample analysis because I already flattened and doing the augmented uh, master well bore and the master uh, rock sample. Now it's easy for me just, uh, okay, uh, give me based on the uh, query country name is Malaysia, region name is XX, and sample type is set well core. So the country name and region name is belong uh, coming from the master well bore. The sample type is coming from the master uh, rock sample, right? And then after that, I can just go to the corporicity, right? Uh, basically, it's uh, between 0 to 25. So even the corporicity is coming from the rock sample analysis, but also we are flattening using the augmented because the original, if you notice, the yellow part, right? So if we try to search based on the uh, uh, porosity, you can see that the, uh, it's kind of multiple array. It goes to the um, uh, rock sample analysis, uh, data dot routine core analysis, dot RCA measurement, dot porosity, right? So with the augmented index, we flatten and shorten. Now I just go that, okay, give me the core porosity uh, uh, higher than 25%, right? So this is the result. So I just run that query, I got the, the result. So uh, you can see the difference between the porosity in the yellow and the core porosity in the green, right? So the porosity in yellow, I did not do the flatten. I just tried to get from the original attribute, which is array, part of the rock sample analysis. The green one is the one that I tried to flatten, right? I just call it as a core porosity, right? So you can see with the augmented index, it's helping significantly in terms of the user experience. The use case three, now I want to see from the GIS and map for all my work product component, right? Which is kind of a challenges before the augmented index uh, resolution, right? So right now, uh, it's also uh, mentioned by the previous uh, presentation. So now I just said, okay, uh, because I already introduced or uh, flattened the location from the master well bore, so now I can search directly to the work product component document Right, give me also the spatial location from the, the WGS coordinate. Right, so I do not need to run multiple call. I just uh, have uh, only the augmented index and I simply, uh, okay, give me all the well belong to Malaysia uh, on certain uh, uh, field uh, and region, right, and uh, show it in the map and GIS. Right, so the query result, it gives the, the coordinate which now we can display in the GIS and the map, right? So you can see in this uh, screenshot, I'm focusing on the document, the work product component document. Now I can also display uh, the, the well bore that have the document in the GIS and the map, right? So with this augmented index uh, resolution, is kind of uh, uh, can help beyond, right? So this can be also when uh, you try to create a dashboard uh, and also uh, discussion about the AI ML, the data quality, the standardization from the raw uh, kind into the uh, uh, OSDU kind, right? So this helping and significantly improve in terms of the uh, getting the information uh, uh, right away without uh, running uh, multiple call and on the search API, right? So the value benefit Right, so first is efficient metadata search. You do not need to run multiple call, right? You just only one uh, 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 search API, you will get the information, right? And also to refine the uh, data retrieval, now I can get all the information, right? Without uh, uh, um, difficulty, the location of the well bore, uh, belong to which field, belong to which region, and so on. And also location aware for all my uh, work product component. So just to summarize, Right, so this uh, augmented index uh, resolution is uh, helping a lot in terms of the user experience, right, in a collaboration between the Petronas uh, and uh, SLB and also the support from the OSG community. This is already available as part of the M19. 
and already enhanced as part of the M22, right? M22 is supporting for the uh, regular expression, especially for the work product component document, because as we know, work product component document, it can be linked to any kind of entity. It can be linked to uh, Wellbore, it can be linked to Wellog, right? So all this information relationship is stored in the lineage assertion. So that's why with M22, with the regular expression support, now we can able to uh, find out all this uh, uh, augmented index solution to help in terms of the uh, user experience. Thank you. Are there any questions? That is very interesting. Uh, I have a question on the scalability of this augmented index. So can this be scaled to uh, other dynamic queries or uh, how will that help? Can you not Can you uh, louder? Yeah. Can this be scaled to other data types and other other queries like you have shown yes. that all the wells yes, uh, in Malaysia? So if at all I want to do another query uh, with a different attribute, can this be scaled? Yes. Uh, to to answer that one, yes, is uh, mostly is a configuration, right? So which uh, kind and which attribute that you want to uh, flatten and augment it? that you can configure uh, uh, openly. Okay, and how about the updates? If, if, if the source attribute gets updated, uh, how will this augmented index yeah. get? Yeah, set? so as mentioned uh, earlier by Zibin in the slide, right? So it's a uh, chasing. So let's say if you have the uh, work product component document and you change the relationship, used to be belong to the uh, well bore A and then you change to the well bore B, it will update it automatically. So uh, when the user try to search, it will get the wellbore B instead of the wellbore A. So it will automatically uh, re-index uh, augmented and then it will chase uh, the new relationship. Thanks for the use case walkthrough. Very uh, clear and illustrates the value proposition. I have some questions about the, uh, uh, the implementation in the core services. Um, as available in M22, it sounds like. Uh, are, are the changes all in the, the indexer services? Are there changes to search uh, as, as well? All, the, all in the indexer services, yes. Actually, this, uh, the, the feature actually uh, we introduced in N18, but in N19, we made a lot of enhancement in terms of performance. So uh, I think uh, currently we deploy, we apply actually Start apply this solution on uh, on our client on the N20. Then we upgrade to N22 because we support local expression. And and to begin to use it, all you need to do is to populate those configuration parameters in the way. Yes, it's just a deploy the configuration, just like a normal uh, uh, storage record, and put to the storage and automatic pick up. Thank you. Uh, thank you again. That's a really, really nice use case. It's just a clarification, really. Is, is all of the flattening done in the work product component? Is that where everything happens, or can that be done in uh, other data types as well? So the flat, you are asking about the flattening. Yeah, all of the flattening. Does it all happen? It looks like it all happens around the work product component. So it can be in the many levels. So the, the example that we show, it works in the two ways. So first, flattening in the uh, master, which is in the well board, right? all the array for the geo context. We just flatten it into kind of country name, region name, and the field name. And also the uh, rock sample analysis with the uh, work product component. So the corporosity. So instead, if you go to the multiple array, just to get the value of the corporosity, we just call it a flatten call corporosity. Yeah, you can flatten from the, from the, uh, the origin object, or from the parent object, or children object. Thank you. I think there is a question. If you go to the slide for the multiple extension, much easier. Thank you for this presentation. I have a question about how you keep track of all these augmented indices that you define. What's the governance around it? Just to continue on the view and join analogy. So how many different kind of augmented indices will you define in the end? What's the question? So uh, how to store all these augmented 
Mm. Oh, yes. So the, we define a new kind, right? So I think you mentioned the slide. So all the uh, metadata defined, we just put to the storage as a normal storage record. Then automatically pick up. And also, the, you're related to the last uh, uh, question is, it depends on the which kind or which uh, 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 attribute that you want to do the augmented, right? So in the case of Petronas, all the work product component, uh, document, uh, log, trajectory, marker set, uh, right? So we try to do the augmented. So at least all the information from the master billboard, the field, region, uh, the location, it can be uh, introduced to uh, uh, logically to all of those uh, work product component. Yeah, one common is uh, you can base on your business need to define the flatten, not necessarily limit to the work product. There is a question. So another question, so what happens to that data which is already sitting on the platform? So how, how will that be augmented in this yes. new index? Yeah, in this case, you need to re-index to update the, the, uh, the data already, already in, the, in the platform for, to enrich uh, the index, in the line index. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank okay, you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.